Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you are returning. My name is Lindy and this is Much Loved Tarot. Welcome everyone. Um, today we are going to be looking into the questions, should you give them another chance? Is reconciliation a thing? Um, is that a yes or a no? As well as like what would happen if you guys would reconcile. Uh, so we're going to take a look at, again, that last question, what would happen if you would reconcile? And then like, take a look at the question, should you give this another chance? Um, let me get over the announcements as always real quick. You can still book private readings with me. My email address is in the description box below. Send me an email. I'll get back to you with all the information that you need to know about that. The readings go for as little as 10 euros for a more in-depth one question tarot reading all the way to like a full on reading. Uh, so send me an email. I'll just send everything back to you, all the information of how it works, the cost, all the options. Um, so send me an email. Anyway, uh, for uh, anyone that is interested, uh, there is also a link tree link in the description box below. If you go over there, you'll find my TikTok, my Instagram. For anyone that feels generous and would like to make a donation to the channel, all different ways to do that as well. Um, let's get into today's video. So should you give this person another shot, another chance? Pile number one, you are going to be this card right here with dreams dreams for pile number one pile number two you are gonna be this card right here with compassion compassion for pile number two and pile number three you are gonna be healing healing for pile number three so if you need some more time to figure out which uh, pile belongs to you or which one resonates with you best, then pause the video here and otherwise I will talk to you guys in your reading. Hi pile number one, so if you chose this card with dreams, then this is going to be your reading today. So again, we're looking into the question, should you give this person another chance? Should there be reconciliation? First off, we are going to take a look at what would happen if you guys had reconciliation and then go from there uh, with this dreams cards for some of you you might have had dreams about this person uh, them showing up in your dreams as well as for some of you it might be like a fantasy or the one that got away regrets that type of feeling to it or wanting to do better or you know something like that but let's take a look at what the terror has to say about this so pile number one what would happen if there was reconciliation between the two of you what would happen if these two people would reconcile okay let's see i think that's it let me gather everything Oh, everything is like backwards. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, oh almost dropping everything. Okay. <laughs> First off, we have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Five of Wands. The Nine of Wands. The Star. The Seven of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands. The Ten of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, let me scooch everything over because we still need to add the back of the deck as well. As overall energy, we have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, okay. So what would happen if there is reconciliation? I think the main thing and the overall energy is that there is a lot of work that needs to be done. A lot of communication. Uh, for some of you, it can be um, couples therapy. For some of you, like actively working on it. I don't think this is a situation where you can just kind of forget what happened in the past and like move on or start over. Um, I think that a lot has happened. I think there's still some defensiveness and still some, like it left some scars. Uh, which I feel like that needs to be addressed. Um, I do see possibilities, though. With that Knight of Pentacles, I see that there's the possibility of working on it together, like on a slow 
path, no expectations. We're just going to try to see where it goes. And after each step, we are going to take a break and, and ask ourselves, do I want to continue put in more effort into this? As well as for some of you, this might be a situation where I don't think this is going to be a, a, a typical, like normal relationship. I think it's going to be very much where you both have your own time. You don't, you're not together like 24 seven. Um, I do think that this is something that you guys can work on, work through if, you both choose to and both want to. With that dreams as well, having like a dream set with that Ten of Cups. And I do feel that there is the possibility of this working out with this person. Again, choice. You have a choice. We're looking at what would happen if you reconcile. If you've already made that choice. Um, again, it's going to be a lot of hard work. With that Five of Wands, I do feel that there is some form of like rivalry going on i don't know if that's like with other people getting involved or between the two of you um that like the communication is differently or you you say something and they take it a certain way but that's not how you you know intended it to do and then like that miscommunication uh being a thing here it's not going to be an easy road at all i think it's going to be a very slow moving a very long road but I do feel that if you stick to it, not just like out of stubbornness, right? Again, but actively choosing after each step. Okay, we've done through this. Let's evaluate. How is it going? Do we need to make changes? Okay, if we need to make changes, let's work on that first. And then again, if that's fixed, evaluate. How is it going? Can we move forward? Yes. Okay, then let's see. Okay, do we both still want this? Do we still want to put in the work? It's very analytical. It's very stripping it from like emotion uh which for some of you might be where you're like you know what this is not for me um and that's fine i think like attraction can only get you so far um i do feel that it's very important in this connection to still have that flirtatious fun uh being able to have fun with each other and not all that heavy. But it's very much a balancing act here. It's still gonna get you in your head, in your mind, doubtful, overanalyzing. Being very defensive of certain situations. As well as with that ten of wands, it's gonna be a very tiring. It's gonna make you question, Do I, is this... At what cost am I doing this? And with that seven of pentacles, do I really want this? Do I want to put in more effort, more energy into this? Not knowing 100% sure if I'll get to that end of the road with this person. So short, what's going to happen if you reconcile? A lot of hard work that needs to be done. A lot of working together. For some of you, therapy. For some of you, um... You know, coming together, therapy, coaching, whatever that is for you. It can also be like religious, if the church has something like that. We can like talk to the pastor or whatnot. And again, with that dreams, if that's your dream, I see that there is that possibility of it, like the possibility there, but there has to be a conscience choice. Okay, we are going to do this. It's not going to be like, let's reconcile. Okay, we just start over. I don't, that's not going to happen. Too much has happened for it just to go at it like that. Um, okay, let me get some advice and guidance for you on this. Because I feel like that's going to be the question, right? Is it going to be worth it though? Like, I don't mind putting in the hard work as long as I get results. And that is always... You know, if everything was set in stone, we had no worries. Because that Ten of Wands is carrying such a, a, a heavy load in combination with that Knight of Pentacles that it is going to be a long road at it as well. 
It's like, you know, holding a glass and going, how heavy is it? Well, it kind of depends on how long you are holding onto it. At the beginning, you're like, oh, that's not heavy. But if you're supposed to hold it for like 10 hours, that's going to get heavy, right? Um, so that's with this as well. How long... Yes, you can like hold that heavy weight. Yes, you are strong. Yes, you can uh, get through this. But that Knight of Pentacles, it is going to be a very, very long road, though. But at the same time, I feel like there's a lot of hope holding this together. For some of you, maybe even seeing the same picture in, for of the future here. Okay, let me give you some advice and guidance for you guys on this. Some advice and guidance for call number one on this. We have the full moon with surrender to the divine. And we also have the full moon in Libra. A win-win outcome is forecast. And we have have faith in your dreams. Have faith in your dreams. And we have dreams here as well. And with that surrender to the divine. I kind of feel like if the opportunity is there. And... Again, it kind of depends on what dreams you're having. If you are dreaming of this person in your life and the divine brings this opportunity of that person in your life again, I feel like it's just a win-win situation to just like check it out. Even if it doesn't turn out to get into a real relationship or a reconciliation, it is a win because you're never going to worry or regret like what would have happened. If I, you know, took that chance, you know, you will have the answer because you've tried. Again, if you your dream is not with that person and this opportunity just comes in, again, have faith in your dreams. Your dream does not include this person. Just because they give you now love and attention does not mean that now you have to make space in your dreams for them. And if that's the case, it will feel like dodging a bullet. Like, glad I dodged that bullet. So two very specific, different ways, depending on, on your dreams. What you want happening. What you see happening for this connection. Let's take a look. Of course, like, you know, you have two people. So two people have to choose here. Um, let's see. We also have Isis. Uh, magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. Again, with that dreams. Have faith in your dreams. They are becoming reality. Stay focused. I feel like spirit cannot be more clear. <laughs> cannot be more clear. What is it that you dream of? We have life force. We'd express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increasing. Okay, and that's with that queen of wands as well. That is like attraction. Still being there. Or, you know. For those of you where like, okay, should I now reach out to this person then? Like if it's not an opportunity that is already there. Again, surrender to the divine. So I feel like more that it's going to come towards you if it's supposed to be for you. Because for some of you, I feel like it might be the situation where you've envisioned like your life... And what you want and your dreams. Um, but not necessarily with this person. I feel like there might be a projection of, well, I can make this person fit into my dreams. For some of you. And with that, again, sur surrender to the divine. Keep manifesting and the, and the universe will bring in that person. Without you having to change them.
Okay, uh, what else do I want? Okay, I kind of want to get... Uh, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it for every other pile, but I kind of want to get some messages from your person on this, just to kind of like see where they're at. I kind of want to do that, so let's just do that. Pile number one, a message from your person on this reconciliation. Let's see. We have, I hope that you can forgive me one day. I love you. Okay. And you don't know how hard it was to let you go. And at the bottom of the deck, we have, you were the best thing in my life. As well as I'm afraid to contact you. So depending on the situation, I definitely feel that they have regrets. And that there is still love for you. For some of you, it might be that they are looking at your content, Instagram. Um, you know, again, kind of depending. This is very much depending on your dreams. I think the ball is on your court. What do you want? Do you want this person or do you want the idea of this person? Do you want this person to fit into your box? Or do you find that this person fits already in a box that you didn't even create but they just kind of like fit um if there is opportunity for you to reach out to them i feel like it's okay for you to do that don't force it don't come up with things but if they post something and you can just go like you would any other human being like oh congratulations or you know glad you had fun or whatever that is um in a more natural way then that's okay don't force it um, because I do feel that the universe is manifesting a lot. Again, if you, your dream does not include this person, where you're like, hell no, do I want this person in your life? Then that's your answer. Even if this person then comes back and wants to reconcile, hold on to your dreams. You know what you want. You know what it is that you're manifesting. It's not this person. You need to then... Because that's like a test of the universe. Like, are you sure you don't want this? Are you sure, you know? So yeah, I kind of want to leave the reading here for you guys. Um, I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Let's have a little bit of a chat about this. Um, if you enjoyed watching it, give the video a thumbs up so I know that I can make more of this type of question for you guys in the future as well. Or if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. Also very helpful for me. So thank you so much for doing so, for being here. Go have an awesome day. Have faith in your dreams. You got this. The universe is very much listening to the manifestations. So keep going. You're on the right track. Have an awesome rest of your day. Just go kick ass. You absolutely got this. And then hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi, pile number two. So if you chose this card with compassion, then this is going to be your reading today. So we are going to be looking into the question, should you reconcile with this person? First off, we are going to take a look at what would happen if you reconcile with them? What like is the energy then? And then we can take a look like if you should, if you shouldn't, or you know, what's up? As well as for pile number one, at the end of it, I kind of got uh, a message from the person. I'm not sure if I want to do that with this one. Kind of depends on how the reading goes, if like the message is already clear. And if we need it, otherwise I might do something else at the end. We'll see. Be surprised. Uh, I, I'll be surprised myself as well. So <laughs> let's take a look. Pile number two. What would happen if you guys reconcile? Pile number two, what would happen if they reconciled with their person, with that compassion? What would happen if there was reconciliation there? Okay, one went to the ground. Oh, it's here. Oh. I think I need some more, but let's take a look at what we have so far. First off, we have the Page of Swords, the Seven of Wands. The Ace of Swords, the Three of Wands, Judgment, and the Queen of Pentacles. I'm already feeling like if nothing changed, then you're going to have the same outcome. If nothing has changed. 
Okay, let me get like two more. What would happen if there's reconciliation here? Is there going to be change? That's the question I want to know. Okay, I wanted two more. We have four more. That's fine. Um, let's see if I can make it fit. We have the page of ones. We have the three of cups, the seven of cups, and the king of swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the six of ones. So the overall energy would be more like a public victory. Does that fit? Well, it kind of fits. Okay. I don't know. I'm not having the greatest feeling about this. I'm surprised that the devil didn't show up. Um, it really, to me, it's just like, did anything change? Did anything change? Because I feel like there might be a feeling with that compassion as well, being compassionate towards the person where it's like, okay, let's just give it a, not a shot. But in the back of your head, you already kind of know that, you know, are doubtful that any change, anything changed or that anything will change. I think maybe at the beginning, things might be a bit different and you'll be surprised about it. But I kind of feel like it, it will end more so the same way. With that judgment, it kind of, again, depends on the energy that you put in. There needs to be, like, doing the same thing but expecting a different outcome. That is insanity. That's literally crazy. Doing the same thing and different. So something has to change here. With that three of ones, there needs to be, okay, how can we do this differently? That can be... Um, like an, a sort of things, right? Going to couples therapy, having good conversations, good chats, or implementing that with that Ace of Swords the, uh, and a Page of Swords, implementing conversations, having more of an open talk. Because I feel with that Seven of Wands that there is still the tendency to be defensive, controlling, um, instead of just like surrendering to this process and each other so what i'm kind of seeing is like a conversation of let's say something happened and you're like you know this happened i didn't really like that how you talk to me like that and they just go like well that's just how it is that just how, how i am and that's their go-to response the door is open to do things differently but like the old coping mechanisms are still something that you guys need to work through just because you decide okay i'm gonna do it differently your brain doesn't know that your brain goes back to okay how did i deal with a situation like that before this stress response right you don't think when when you have stress you just act and respond and i feel like that's um Something that you could fall into with this person, especially at the beginning. Again, it can be helpful to have some sort of coach or someone you can talk to and that can help you guys through this and work through this individually as well as together. Um, but something definitely, definitely needs to change here. Because I feel like there might be communication differences as well. For some of you, okay, this is like, <laughs> I'm branching off here. For some of you, I am getting a feeling that it could even be that one of the two sees getting back together as some sort of victory. And the moment that that happens, they're like, okay, now I won. So now what's new? What's the next game? What are we going to do next? How, you know, losing interest in it because they got you or you got them. And then it's like, pfft, you know, now I don't care anymore. I got to my goal. That's it. But that's only for a couple of you. And I feel like that's something that you will really, really fast um, see. That's also with that compassion and that Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is a motherly energy. Caring, compassionate, warm. That King of Swords is someone that's very logical thinking. So can react very short, very cold. Not one that talks about their emotions or how they're feeling. Um, <clears throat> and I think that could be a block again. What happens if if you guys reconcile, if you don't actively work on it, if you don't actively talk 
um, and try to do things differently and working on that, then you're going to have the same results as you had because you're having the same kind of input. For some of you, again, branching off where there has been loyalty issues, that might still be a thing. Um, so reconciliation, I do see a fairly amount of risk for you getting hurt just because you are that caring and warm person. Uh, there might be a feeling of wanting to fix this person, wanting to mold this person with compassionate, with love, with warmth. Um, with that, you're only going to hurt yourself. Because I think this is a stubborn person that wants to fix their own shit on their own. Don't need someone to mother them. Don't need someone to hold their hand or guide the way or smother them with their love. If you guys want to work on this, you can with help of, uh, I feel like an outside person. To give some objective perspective on this situation. Of course, this all depends if, if you want to, if you're interested, if, you know, as well as if they are ready to make those changes just as much as you are. With that Seven of Cups, I'm seeing a lot of different possible outcomes, all depending on the choices that you guys make. Now we're looking at what would happen if you reconcile. A lot of hard work needs to happen. I'm still seeing similar energy getting into this connection. So something has to change because otherwise you are going to have the same results. And it's going to be a very short victory. Like won the battle but lost the war. For some of you, this can get also a bit toxic, um, but that's just for a couple of you. Okay, let me get some like advice and guidance for you on this pile number two. So some advice and guidance on this whole reconciliation thing. Should you reconcile with this person? Because at the end, like the, the real question that we all, when it comes to this reading, the question I hear most is, yes, but is it going to be worth it? Always, always get that question. So let's just get, uh, get some more uh, from Spirit, like more towards you, some advice and guidance on you on this, whether you should let this go, whether you should invest, if it's going to be worth it, anything that Spirit would like to let you know and make you aware of okay i want to take that one as well let's see which ones we have we have the new moon in leo with confidence is your key to success confidence is your key to success why won't you thank you um so yeah staying in your energy as well because with this i feel like for some of you it might again you are the very calm warm loving energy is kind of what i'm getting and it might be that this person tries to overpower you with that or tries to insert lack or feeling I'm not good enough or, you know, doubting yourself. We also have the new moon in Gemini with communication is key. Like I said, good conversations, good communication. Keep talking to each other. Uh, we also have the new moon in Cancer with you and your loved ones are safe. You and your loved ones are safe. I think that's the, the, like, if you keep have confidence, keep having that healthy conversations, then you'll stay safe. But the moment one of the two falls down, then it's, you know, you can get hurt. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. If they try to, again, lower your confidence or stop communicating, that's the moment where you no longer feel safe and loved. And that's the moment where spirit's like, you know, something's off. Then something's off. And you can go with your compassion. Yeah, but they're having a bad day. Okay, then have communication about that. Yeah, but I don't, you know, 
I don't feel like I should talk about it. Well, are you hurting? Yes. Then have that confidence to step up to them and go like, dude, this is not fair. You're now treating me um, not like a human being. And you either need to change that or so, like something needs to change. And either you make that decision or I will. Because I am responsible for my own safety. Okay. So I feel like with this, like, should you reconcile? Um, if this is something that you really want, I feel like Spirit is like, okay, go learn that lesson or go through that. If that's what you really want, just stay safe. Because that's what Spirit wants for you. Your safety and your happiness. You always have a choice. If this is something where you're like, hell no. <laughs> hell no. No. This is not, you know, not happening. Um great because then you're keeping yourself safe because in the situation as you are right now you are safe you are you and your loved ones are safe as it is right now and i do feel that this person could bring in some turbulence there but at the same time i feel like that shouldn't be a problem again as long as you keep your confidence and have that healthy com communication uh with your person Oh, 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 everything went to the ground. Um, let me take a look at this one first. We have Mary Magdalena with Teacher Awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anyone stop you. So yeah, forget about other people's opinions as well. Oh, this might also be that you guys are karmic relationships or have a soul contract where you're supposed to learn lessons from each other um, we ha also have El Moria with awakening presence the universe is with you wear a cloak of protection and love again you and your loved ones are safe okay the other two that went to the ground I didn't want to add I just wanted to get two but these two flipped out as well so I feel like I should use them uh, we also have Serapis Bay with Ensench ascension uh, move into your true self rise above darkness the light is here and we have kalima with facing fear major spiritual changes are unfolding this is your chance to soar so i feel like spirit just wants you to be in your element in your power again have self-confidence um And it really comes down to that. If you are to the point where you're like, okay, I just want to really try to make this work again. I really want to go for it. Go for it. Again, hold on to the... Because I feel like you've been through some sort of transformation. Where you're now more self-confidence. Um, you, I feel like you also learned how to communicate more healthily. Um, so that this doesn't turn toxic. Okay, let me get some final messages because I kind of want to take a look for you guys as well. How, what are they like thinking or what is their point on like idea of this reconciliation? What are their thoughts and feelings towards that? So take a look at, at that for poem number two. How are they feeling about this possible reconciliation? Anything that they would like to say about this? We have, I am not available. I can't stop thinking about you. And I know I was a distraction from your pain. So they are a bit more reserved. Um, at the bottom, you were the best thing in my life. I wish things could be different. And then underneath that, we need to let each other go. So yeah, I think they are more reserved. I think with them not like like i said with you i feel like a lot of transformation has happened where you're like you know what i am more mature i can do this i can transform this person or make this person into the person that they want to be and it's better for them and a little bit of that hero syndrome i'm gonna save you um i think with them there has been less change less change i am not available so more hesitant to get into this reconciliation or like not available in the way that you would like them to be again i feel like you've been through some sort of transformation i think they 
have not or have less or not ready for it in this moment right now. So yeah, I kind of want to leave it at that. Mm. I'm feeling, having a hard time just saying like, I wouldn't reconcile with this person. I think right now is not the timing. Because again, with that judgment as well, I, I just got a very strong thing that if you guys have reconciliation, it will end the same way that it has just because especially for them, I feel like they haven't been through that transformation right now. And it would require a lot of communication, a lot of hard work, a lot of, you know, individual work as well as together work. It's just going to be a lot. And I feel like they are not there yet. So for now, I kind of want to say, should you give this person another chance? Well, if you're if I was your friend, I was like, what are you, get you getting yourself into? Still, you have a choice. You have a choice. Um, yeah, this is just what I'm seeing about that. About this whole situation. So I kind of want to leave the reading here for you guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope it gave you some insight. Uh, I hope it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Let's have a little bit of a chat how this fits in for you as well. If you enjoyed watching this type of question, uh, let me know so I can make more of this type of um, reading for you guys. Usually I go like, uh, is there going to be reconciliation? But I wanted to give more more than that you know more of an insight so let me know if you enjoyed it by clicking on that thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already very helpful for me as well just have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day go kick ass focus on yourself i feel like you have been through a beautiful transformation loving yourself self-confidence you got this such a warmth energy uh, so just have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day go kick ass and hopefully i will talk to you guys again in the next reading Hi, pile number three. So if you chose this card with healing, then this is going to be your reading today. So we are going to be looking into the question, should you be open to reconcile with this person? Or, you know, should you reconcile with this person? Should you accept them? Uh, first off, we're going to take a look at what would happen if you guys reconcile. Um, and then, you know, give the answer to that, what I'm feeling. With this healing card, I'm feeling there has been already a lot of healing process going on. Um, very focused on healing, healing oneself. And maybe for some of you, even a question like, okay, did we do enough healing to now give it another shot? And that being like the major question. Uh, but let's take a look what the tarot has to say. So what would happen if there was reconciliation between the two of you right now? What would happen if there is reconciliation at this time with this healing card for pile number three? What would happen? Okay, we have a lot. Let's take a look at everything that's popped out for you guys. We have a lot. Oh my god, I'm not sure if I can make it fit. Well, we'll see. Okay, first off, we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups. The Hierophant, the High Priestess, the Hermit, the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Two of Wands. Okay, at the bottom of the deck we have the Wheel of Fortune, of course. Okay. So the Wheel of Fortune, whenever the Wheel of Fortune pops out in readings for me, it always makes it harder for me because the wheel talks about seasons changing, uh, nighttime, daytime, like things we cannot control. They happen, but we have no control over when it happens, how it happens, you know, the weather, we have no control over that. That's with the Wheel of Fortune as well. Spirit brings situations and people in our life. We have no control over it. They happen for the reason that they do. But let's take a look if I can see. Because the Wheel of Fortune also talks about like if it's meant to be, it will come to us. If the right timing is there, it will come to us. So if this came to you right now, that means that the timing is right now. That it is the right timing. Again, there might be some... 
um, doubts of like, have I healed enough? Maybe I need to give myself some more time. Um, if the opportunity is here, I kind of want to say more like take a look at it, that it's okay to see. Um, I see that there is a lot of still focus on, again, with that healing. Have we healed enough? Have we worked through a lot um, that we needed to? With that five cups, very focused on what is lost, what went wrong, uh, regrets, and not seeing new possibilities, new chances moving forward. Um, what would happen if you reconcile? The two ones is about like making a choice and I kind of want to say it's okay to see again. <laughs> I feel like spirit is for some of you bringing this person in already that feels maybe a bit too much too early for this to happening. Um, but I feel like it's okay to make that decision of trying it again and it's okay to then change your mind at some point. It's okay to change course. It's okay, because you're going to have a lot of these, like, road, how do you say that? Like, T intersections, where you have to make a decision. Okay, which direction to go in? Or am I going to choose to go further with this person? Or am I going to choose a different route? I think that's just going to happen. I think it is... There's still a lot of baggage that needs to be addressed about what happened and how to make sure that doesn't happen again. I think reconciliation is a big word. I think for now with that Herfin, take the right steps to work on that past, what has happened, the baggage that you're carrying right now, the defensiveness, feeling cornered, feeling um, pressured. Talk about that, work through that. You don't have to be either married or, you know, be best friends. Um, but taking the right steps in that direction. Because I do feel that there is that desire to have this person in your life. And with that, I think it's okay to not think about it too much. And just, well, we'll just take a shot. We'll just, like, see where it goes. Like, have conversations. It doesn't have to be all that heavy all the time. But it cannot also be light and, well, well, let's just see, you know, let's forget about everything that happened. Because with that Five Cups, that's impossible. It's impossible to forget about what happened in the past, to forget the baggage that you're carrying around. And just, like, pretend that's not there. Because it is. And it's okay to go through that. Trust your intuition while maneuvering this. Um, and take it slow. With that Ace of Swords, have good, deep conversations. Because that's the path to seeing if reconciliation can be a thing. I think you've done a lot of healing on your own. Um, and if you have the desire to have reconciliation with this person, then it's also good to have that healing with each other. That next step. Is that that full on reconciliation? To me, it's more like, well, let's see if we can wrap up that cycle of the past and then see with each step if we are interested in expanding this connection. For some of you, I'm feeling this could be a love interest. For some of you, this can also be the relationship that you have with your mother, for instance. Um, don't overdo it. You don't have to spend now like five hours in a row with each other you can like just have a cup of coffee see if you guys still can have that friendship level of communication and then say goodbye even if things go good don't overdo it right if you have that cup of coffee it's going well it's very fun it's very cozy don't just go well you know what we could also grab dinner after this right and if that goes well you know what let's go i don't know to the movies or don't overdo it Take it one little step at a time. Test the waters if you're feeling good and comfortable with how things are going in the moment. Then you can have a conversation and go like, okay, I kind of want to see if we can add a little bit more time, more activity, more whatever. 
to this connection. Take it very slow because you're still in your healing process as well. Again, that being said, that is if that's what you want. If you desire to have this person in your life, if you want to put in the work, if you want to, you know, deal with all that. Because with that Hierophant, it is... <laughs> the Hierophant talks about taking the right next steps. You know? And I feel like that just needs to be addressed first. Trust your intuition along the way. Don't let yourself get pressured into certain situations where you're uncomfortable. Take things slow. At the same time, don't try to overthink things. Or overcomplicate or coming up with a whole strategy of how to do that. We're like, okay, next week we're going to go for coffee. The week after that we're going to have dinner. The week after that we're going to do this. The week after, you know, don't, don't have a plan. Just see how it goes. Trust your intuition. Feel the flow. How is it going? Is the other person just as, you know, into this idea as I am? Where are we at? Okay, let me get some more advice and guidance for you on this pile number three about this reconciliation. Again, if you are not interested in reconciling or if you're not interested in taking it slow or, you know, where you're like, let's just forget about it, I feel like then you're going to get back into the old patterns because there's still a lot that you're carrying around still a lot of heaviness still a lot of things that make you feel irritated like if you okay because i had this conversation so if you have like i always say oh let me get a pen for this let me write this out for you guys just to visit visualize it a little bit so let's say this is you Right, And you have a circle around you with your closest friends, your closest people, the people you trust with everything that you open up with. And then you have people around there that are like friends, but, you know, your expectations of them are lower than the expectations of this person. And then behind that, you have like strangers or something, right? Strangers. This person, you're like... Okay, they used to be here, or in your mind, there should be in this spot. That's what that function is. I feel like this is such a burden, and this can only cause... If you put place this person back here right now, right away, I think that's just going to continue the frustration, continue the expectation, and continuing you feeling disappointed whenever things don't work out the way that you want so if you place them a little bit you know further away let's say well maybe not in like the stranger because behind that that's people that you don't know right this is you don't know uh strangers that you walk on the street you're kind to them but you don't have expectations that they you know if you fall that they're gonna pick you up it's nice if, if they do but if they just walk past that just you know okay fine you know so I feel like putting the, the person a little bit more outside of your bubble and not think about the expectation that is implied with the label that they have on for... Okay, I feel like this is getting too technical and I'm only confusing you guys. But let me give you an example. So let's say this is your mother. Someone that in your mind a mother should take care of you, should have best interests, should give you love. You are placing her here. Right inside that bubble of okay, this these are the people that are supposed to love me, care for me, uh, have my back. Um, you know all the labels that you have attached to that motherhood, but they're not acting that way. Then every time, as long as you keep them in this bubble, every time they do something that do not meet your expectations to the label that you put on them, you get hurt or you get disappointed. Where if you put them out there. The only thing that you have to change is the label that you've put on them. 
the disappointment goes away, the expect expectation goes away of them helping you or that it being natural or more okay for them to help you, right? And now then is the time of this reconciliation where you put them here, you go have a t conversation and see if you can put them one step closer to you. Still not there. It's something that you guys need to work on to get closer to you. But they've kind of lost at some point, lost the privilege of being this close to you. Right? I hope that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully I explained that correctly. Usually I, I spend like a couple minutes uh, explaining this more often and give like personal... Because um, I know who this is. Uh, but I hope this makes sense. I hope this analogy makes sense. So taking it slow, trusting your intuition, don't overdo it, don't give them privileges that they have not earned or showed to you that they can handle so that they don't hurt you again. Because it's insanity. If someone hurts you, breaks you into pieces, then gather those pieces, go back to them and go like, see what you did? And then like needing to hear how badly they broke you. Oh, right, I broke you very badly. And then expect them to put that back together. That's insanity that's insanity take it slow again this is for the extreme cases right take it very very slow okay let's take a look pile number three some advice and guidance for you guys on this some advice and guidance for pile number three on this no that no in this reconciliation case i was like no contact because i feel like for some of you it's a no contact okay these i'm not going to take i'll take the other one um, we have, what do you need to release? That ten of wands. What are you carrying around still? Expectations. Um, baggage. Things that happened that really hurt you to, to the core. What do you need to release? New moon in Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. And we also have the new moon in Pisces with meditate and contemplate. So how do you want this person in your life? How do you see them in your life? What are your expectations with that? Can they carry that expectation? Are they down for that? I do feel that reconciliation, again, your hard work is paying off, that it is something that is very much possible, but there is hard work. It will require a lot of hard work as well as contemplating, for some of you, meditating on how do you see this person in your life? Because for some of you, again, where this is like a, a, a parent, there is this societal pressure, pressure of how a parent-child relationship should look like. But that doesn't work for you guys. So there's a need to let go of the idea of how this relationship should be or should look like. Same with romantic relationships. You know, some relationship flourish uh when there is distance when you all, all both have your own place but you are in a relationship right that works make it your own it's customable this is not life where you just get a car and you need to deal with that car with all the functions that it already had or like the expectations you can modify it you can put on it whatever you want you can get rid of things that don't work for you but you need to know what that is. So meditate and contemplate. It is going to be a lot of hard work, but it will pay, be paying off. Okay, what else? Pile number three. Any advice and guidance for you on this? With you guys, I'm again having a bit of a hard time because this is a one-way street. I'm not having a conversation, so I cannot like jump on your personal connection to this person which i'm kind of feel bummed out i don't have this often right now i'm a bit like oh i wish i could have talked to you guys like what's going on so i could be more like personal um okay we also have paul the venetian with experiencing grace share your gifts with grace with grace waves of inspiration and love are coming to you so how you want to do this the things you know it might be goofy solutions weird solutions um but if they work they work 
which I'm just very excited for. We also have Saint Germain. They kind of look alike. Uh, <laughs> that's just, yeah, I don't know. They kind of look alike. Uh, we have Karma releasing Move Beyond Drama. Create your own path. Make room for good energy. So if it's to the point where this person only brings in drama, move on beyond, move beyond that drama. Don't actively keep that drama in your life right what works with you for you what level of you know energy that they put in and for some of you it can be to put them to for them to never get into that uh inner circle right if that works for you if that keeps you safe Okay, let me get some final messages. So I wanted to end this with some messages from your person, how they see this possible reconciliation um, and what are their thoughts and feelings on this whole matter. So let's take a look. Pile number three. So with the questions, should there be reconciliation? I feel like it is more about are you ready to make like a start right that first move that first step um because i feel like full on reconciliation that's very far along uh the journey i wouldn't recommend going back to the way things were because the way things were got you hurt But taking like the next step in that direction, if again, if this is a person that you really desire in your life or you really want in your life at in, in some way, shape or form, right, um, then you can take those steps. But again, there needs to be something to let go of. And I feel like that's more, again, a expectation of oh they're supposed to be this way or i'm supposed to be this way or a relationship should feel like this or you know whatever that is um we have i remember every detail of that day just being near you is intoxicating the timing just wasn't right for us and i wish i had treated you better <laughs> yeah again a lot of that past Still carrying a lot of that, you know, baggage that I feel like is the next step for you guys. If you're willing to go in that direction, um, to first deal with that, with the past. I wish I had treated you better. The timing just wasn't right for us. Let's talk about this. Why was that? What have we learned? How have we grown? Uh, what were the things that really bothered you about me? What were things that really bothered me about you? How have that changed? How have I changed? How am I now looking at that? Um, just being near you is intoxicating. I do feel that they also feel that... Um, like wanting you in their life. Just, I feel like for some of you, you might have that for them as well. And like how things ended had a major impact. So I do feel that there is equal desire at both sides. Uh, whether that is very much wanting you in their life or not. Depending on how you are feeling. If you're like, I don't want this, then I feel like it's very similar that they feel the same way. But also have no idea how to, you know, what is the next step. How to, you're both just as clueless as how to move forward. Again, with that Wheel of Fortune, if this opportunity comes in, it comes in, I feel like it is worth taking a look at if that's your desire. Because that's, spirit and the universe is working on your desires. If you desire to have this person in your life and it comes in at a time where like, I'm not sure, ta just take a look at it. We're just asking you to take a look. You don't have to do anything past that. If you're at a point where this is, oh, hell no, the, and hell no, and this comes back, then that with that Wheel of Fortune is an opportunity from Spirit to have that ending. So you never have to look at any um, tarot readings about this person ever again where you can have closure. No, thank you for this opportunity for me to say no and then let go.
So yeah, I kind of want to leave the reading for you guys here. You guys, that went deep. Uh, I hope I didn't confuse you that much with all the analogies. Uh, but I hope it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Let's have a little bit of ch chat about this. Um, if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments as well. Like the video if you enjoyed watching it so I know that I can make more of this type of question in the future. Usually I'm asking like, will there be reconciliation? This time I wanted to give you a little bit more like in depth uh, and hopefully I got to do that. If that was the case, again, give the video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Very helpful for me as well. So thank you so much for doing so, for being here. Just have an awesome rest of your day. I feel like you are uh, doing so great with your own healing path your own healing journey uh, so keep doing that you're doing absolutely amazing go kick ass you absolutely got this and then hopefully i will talk to you guys again in the next reading